Hello, welcome to Pretty Plump and Trying. My name is Amanda. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button below if you are interested in beauty, plus size fashion, unboxings, and more. Today we're going to be doing a first impressions of an eyeshadow palette. I've never actually gotten eyeshadow palettes from Amazon, and since the videos I had planned are not happening, I decided, you know what, I have some credit, let's see what I can find. So I decided to just type in eyeshadow palettes under 20 bucks, and I went to the four star or more ratings, and this one popped up. This is from You Can Be, and it's their Spotlight palette. The packaging already got me, so I was just like, okay. And then they showed you pictures of the palette, and I'm like, all right, let's, let's do this. Let's see. It's day shipping. I'm all about that. So this is what the palette looks like. A lot of colors, just a variety of looks you can come up with. You have your neutrals, but then you also have your blues, your greens, your orange, purple. So I figured I'm going to come to you guys pretty much bare-faced. I have a foundation base put on, and that's it. <laughs> well, we're going to play around with makeup. It was a long week, and I figured, why not? Let's do something fun. I can test out a palette, and for under 20 bucks. It's actually under 15, so it's more like the NYX kind of territory for all those colors, too. Hopefully it works out. <laughs> we will find out the hard way, I guess. I also have a couple different things. I have a highlighter from Revolution, which I will be using. I didn't want to go too crazy with the highlighter or the blush because I didn't know what look I'm going to come up with, or even if these shadows are going to be good. I'm also going to use the L'Oreal blush I got from my TJ Maxx haul. Again, I wanted to go pretty neutral, just in case. I have a couple colored mascaras that I wasn't sure what I was going to do, so I went with a ColourPop one. This is a voluminous one in blue. I really enjoy ColourPop's colored mascaras, so I figured blue is always a nice way to go. And then two of the L'Oreal voluminous ones. This one's in burgundy. You can't really see it on camera, but it is a pretty color, and it's just kind of a hint of color. The color pop ones are definitely more showy. This other one is in hunter green. And let's make sure you can see that. Yeah. So I figured let's do do a makeup look. Let's see what happens. And for lips, I literally because we don't know what we're doing. I just wanted to do the milk Kush lip balm and then color nug that I got. I did try this and I am quite happy with it. So if I do get a chance to go back to TJ Maxx, I'm going to end up looking to get that bubblegum one. Okay. Let's see. Now there's so many colors. So what I'll do is let's start off with a plain base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with, let's go with this color right here for my base. I do have my mirror right here, so I'm going to push it a little bit so you guys can see a little bit of it, but I just want to be able to see because glasses, it's all a blur right now. So let's look. Alrighty. Let's see. I'm going to go up to the brow bone. This is not a very dark color or anything, so I'm not expecting anything crazy, but let's just see. Sweeping it up to the brow bone. There's a couple different shimmers in here too, so I'm excited. I'm hoping this palette works out because for it was $13.99 on Amazon. And if it works, that's an amazing price. So let's see. And honestly, there's no kickback or no, like, dust or anything, so that is really cool. Let's see. Do the camera a little bit. Alrighty. Okay. Not bad. Let's see. This is definitely going to be a colorful look. Why not? I'm home. Let's try. Hmm. See, I can definitely do a couple different 
colors with this palette, so it's going to be fun to play around with, but let's start off with, let's do some orange. We're going to go with this orange right here. We'll do that one. And I'm going to use the same brush, but I do have a color switch, which I do love this thing. I got this off of a BoxyCharm, but I also ordered one from a future video, which I'm curious to see if it actually works. And I'm going to use that color. That one has a little bit more pickup. Do a little shake. And we're just going to go right a little bit below where I did before. And just scoop it. Same thing, a little bit where I was before, a little lower. Now we're just going to sweep in, sweeping motion. Okay, not bad. Now this one did have a little bit more, but it's, that's still not even horrible. Okay. And the color does show up, so... I'm not mad at it, and I do have powder underneath my face, so hopefully we'll be able to clean up anything that falls down. Let me just do a little bit more. Okay. Not bad. Let's go for a different brush. I do have a mixture of brushes here between e.l.f. I have an AOA brush, which I haven't shopped at AOA in years, so I decided to try that out. Stay tuned for that video. Let's see. Okay, we're going to go for a e.l.f. brush. And we have an orange base. Let's go with a blue. Why not? We'll go with the teal blue, though. So let's do this color. And we're going to go on the outer corner. Oh, well, okay, $13.99, let's see, again, I'm just kind of patting it on the outer corner, just trying to see how it works, and I don't have glasses on, so please bear with me, this is all Kind of fingers crossed. Hopefully this looks okay. Let's do some more on this side. Okay. Good so far. It's definitely a bit powdery, but... For the price, and if you get a good enough pigment, it's definitely worth it. Let's look. Okay, let's go with... Hmm. Let's go with green. Why not? Let's go with a... Let's go with this green right here. Let's see how that goes. And that's just going to go smack dab in the middle. Let me make sure this brush is clean off. Okay. And let's rub it right in the middle. Sorry for the mirror right there. I'm just trying to be able to see. Okay. It's not as pigmented as the blue. But that's to be expected. Let's put some more. And this is just completely dry. This is not a wet brush or anything. So that's also stuff we have to keep into factor. Okay. And just patted it. 
I'm at it so far. <laughs> now I'm I'm really tempted to see a shimmer, so let's go for one of the shimmers here. Let's look. We have a couple different shimmers in this palette with the look already. A little bit of powderiness, but once again, it's not that bad at all. You know what? This one has been intriguing. So it's like a liney kind of color. And that one, like I normally do with glitters, is I'll just use my finger. Oh, it's oh, it's creamy. Oh, no. This might be a look and see about this brand kind of thing. That is nice. Okay. You seen it? A very creamy shadow. And look at just there. Like, oh. I might have to check out this brand more. I think that looks okay. Let's look and see. Let's do a little bit more of the green just to kind of blend it in a little bit. I have to consider contacts because that would make this a lot easier in the future, but <laughs> we deal with it. We do what we got to do. Again, I'm really not mad at that palette yet. We'll see. I want to do a little bit more of the shimmer because I just really like the feel of it and it just was very creamy, very nice. Let's Okay, let's grab a little bit more of the blue color. Again, it is powdery, but I'm not mad at the color that it comes with, so very cool. Let's switch the brush again. Let's look for under the eye, because I think I have an okay front top part. <laughs> Let's check. Alrighty, not bad. Now there is a little bit of blue underneath, but we will get that cleaned up. And actually, let's see, because I know sometimes it'll stay on you. Oh, and it looks like it does. Oh no. Well, we'll see. I did bring my Too Faced concealer with me as a just in case. I was nervous. But yeah, so far I think it looks okay. We'll grab another e.l.f. brush. This is the eyeliner brush. And let's go with a different color. So we stuck with the blues, the teals kind of thing. Let's do underneath the eye. Let's go with a purple. Why not? There's a couple different purples here. Let's go with the lighter purple. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the darker purple. I say this, but that might not happen the way I say it will. But let's see, let's go right in the inner. And see if it actually shows up here. Hmm. 
this color might not be the most pigmented, but let's see. Let's just go all the way under the entire eye. Because then I can always deepen it with the darker purple. This is more like a lilac color anyway. So let's see. Yeah, I don't really think you can see too much of the color. So it is a lighter shade. Let's go in with a darker purple. Let's do, let's go to this purple right here. Let's see if that one's a little bit, a little bit more, which it should be. So let's see. Again, I'll mention the powderiness because I do know it does irk some people, but I don't mind it if it means that the color is going to be worth it. I don't know. Oh, jeez. As the hair just gets everywhere. But I'm not going to get a haircut anytime soon, so... I will suck it up and deal with it. Let's see. Hmm. Let's go with the darker purple. Because I'm not having much luck with the purple shades. So, let's see. One thing I forgot was getting eyeliner. I have a couple that I like. Right now I'm currently using the NYX eyeliner. But I heard ColourPop has a really good one. So I'm tempted when I do a ColourPop haul to grab a couple of those just to see. Just trying to kind of meet it with the top, which I think kind of jacked up the look, but it is what it is. We will deal with it. Let's just see if I can. Fix it a little bit. <laughs> Let's check with the glasses to see. Okay, it's it's not bad. Um, the darker purple definitely works better than the lighter ones did. So it's okay. Let's try to fix it up a bit though, because I'm not exactly happy with how it's coming out. So let's see. Let's go. Now let's just stick with the same purple and just do a little bit. So we can kind of meet it. Let's see if that'll kind of fix up the mess that I made. Just tapping it on the corner. Okay. I am by no means a makeup artist. I'm not pretending to be. But uh, it was a hard day. And this is something I love to do. And I didn't want to be kind of annoyed or upset by the fact that things you know I had things planned and I try to be as organized as I can especially with starting off on the channel and uh you know it happens so I figured I might as well test out a palette talk a little bit hopefully it comes out with a decent look and kind of go from there you know it is what it is we will clearly have to deal with worse than things not happening the way we want it to so that's fine so now let's see I think I might be almost done let's do a color on the eyebrow bone trying to find the right brush let's go with this one this is the elf eye crease brush 
and let's do I'm gonna try another another shimmer because they were just they were nice they were really creamy let's try this shimmer right here and let's go along my brown bow Okay, well, that I shouldn't have done, <laughs> but it's okay. We will deal with it. It's going to be an abstract kind of look. I did not mean for it to be, but, you know, why not? <laughs> oh, man, it is what it is. Okay, it's fine. Let me try to, hmm, there's no saving this look, so <laughs> why not? It's, it is what it is. Let's do it. Okay, whatever. Let's try to, hmm, let's put a corner, a corner highlight, just in the little tear duct, because it's already a little of a goofy look. Let's continue it. Let's try, because I really do like the shimmers in this palette. This is bad. Uh, let's go with, you know, let's go with the purple. Why not? Let's go with the purple shimmer right here. And we're going to go right in the tear duct. And let's see how that looks. Ooh. Well, okay. Let's see if my look this video is just not going to even go up. I messed up too much. <laughs> but we'll see. You live and you learn. And this palette is a, it's a fairly good palette. And I'm really excited to try different looks with it. I just happened to jack this one up. But you know what? It happens. I just needed to be able to play and just talk. So it happens. Let's see. And, you know, beauty's perspective. I could think this looks wacky, but someone else could think it's cool or somebody thinks it's hideous. Okay. <laughs> you know, we're always allowed to have our opinions, so it is what it is. Okay. Alrighty. I think that is it when it comes to the eyeshadow, but again, with how many colors you get for $13.99, four and a half star rating, I will definitely be playing with this palette again. Pretty sturdy packaging, and since I have Prime, it came in under a day, so I was super excited for it. Now let's just try to finish this kind of a look up. Let's go with the eyeshadow. I don't, clearly I already don't, don't need any more eyeshadow. Let's go with the mascara. Which color? You know what, let's go with the blue. Why not? It is probably the most pigmented one I have. And this look is already something else, so why not? Let's, let's do it. Now, normally when I'm doing this, I will have my mirror just very close to my face <laughs> so I can actually see, but I don't want it to be like my last video where it was just way too close <laughs> and I apologize for that. Okay, have that dry a little bit. Let's find my glasses. Let's see the final look that I came up with. <laughs> it's okay it's fine let me i need some lip balm or something on i'm really glad i went for a neutral color there you go 
and it gives you a little color, but I actually really like this one. Huh? Smells a little bit like peppermint and magnetic lotion. Okay, it is what it is. Let's finish this look. <laughs> Let's go with the blush. Because my glasses happen to be big. This is a AOA brush. That's one thing. I haven't shopped with AOA in years, but this brush is still very good. Oh, this is going to be a look. I took off my glasses because my glasses are pretty big. And because I smile, <laughs> I have big cheeks. So I have to kind of do that in order to make sure I get the blush. Okay. Not bad. Could be worse. And let's try this highlighter. This is a e.l.f. brush. This is actually a tapered brush, but... I always use it for highlighter. Oh, let's see. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but it is pretty. Oh, oh. It's got a good angle right there. All right. Hold it down the nose. Yeah, I think... I think we're good. I think we're done. This was interesting. Let's see if I need to actually fix the under eye. Okay. It's, you know what, that's the fun thing about makeup is you can play, you can look a mess, <laughs> or you can look beautiful. It's just kind of a time for us to unwind and either start the day right, or in my case, a way to kind of get rid of some of the stress and the anxiety that comes with a long week. So there we go. That's the look. I will definitely be trying some other looks with this palette, but I'm really happy I'm for $13.99. Awesome. So thank you very much for watching. And just a quick reminder that you are wonderful, elegant, lovely. And if today is not a good day, that is okay. All we can do is try. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.